Hello my friends and welcome to this video about CEC TL1X CD transport. I've had TL1 before in my workshop and TL0 and of course some others like 5100 and 51XR which I recommend but never 1X. Um, 1X is obviously very similar to TL1, it shares the same box, um, same large pack. Uh, a transformer is also encased in a can, but the power supply there appears to be much less elaborate. Um, it has a nice touch of um, voltage being selected, you know, that plug there sits in the left socket, but there's also two other sockets there, and you know, one is 420, one is for 100 volts, so it can be used anywhere in the world. On the other side we have a um, servo board there at the bottom which is a standard Sanya job uh, maybe even using boom boxes slightly smaller I think from memory but uh, you, know, you can have a look at the TL1 video to, to, to see if I'm not wrong but it appears to be smaller than the other one on top there is a output board and that has a AS view on it um, glass optical and coaxial SPD. Um, the player is working fine, although apparently it's intermittent and sometimes doesn't want to come off. Obviously, 4,000 kilometer trip to my place from Melbourne uh, <laughs> fixed it, but obviously, I'm going to uh, see that there must be some intermittent connection or joint on that power board, and I'm gonna. Uh, probably upgrade capacitors, make them bigger and, um, and, and make them, you know, long SR. And also probably the, the standard lamp is eight mode with tantalums on the um, server board. Also what I'll do, I'll, I'll, I'll fix the output, uh, SPD output a bit because it's, it's not nice, it looks like sales um, that make up a Sydney Opera House. Um, if you see, there's a couple of transformers, one there and one uh, deep down there. These are for SP, not a part of SPD, for ASEBU. And ASEBU, if I wake up uh, my oscilloscope, you'll see it is very good, or at least much better than uh, the one that was on um, a Motiva. Particularly when we freeze the music, uh, you can see that it is that is what it should be. Let me just stop it. Uh, it is mirror image here. You know, it's uh, the shape is really a proper mirror image. So obviously they went uh, and have done a very good um, uh, SPD. If, uh, sorry, ASBU, but SPD if is not as good. And I'll try to demonstrate it and show you why is it so. The music will have to. Obviously, stop. I'll, I'll, I'll have to reach out to my deck because I uh, I don't have such fancy things as um, sorry, that I, I'll have to grab the um, uh, coaxial cable. Um, I don't have such fancy things as the um, glass optical on my workshop deck, which is a, uh, a benchmark deck over there. Quite very, very nice unit. So here we have it, let it run and we'll get rid of the trace number two and here it is, it's hardly hardly a square it is just a triangular thing and, and that can um, be fixed, uh, Dr. Lampezator gives a ready recipe so I'm just going to follow that but obviously well that's just no good. Maybe this is what, uh, you know, some people say that this is what makes them sound um, unique. But then uh, ASEBU has, you know, pretty normal uh, trace. So I don't know, but, uh, but Lampizator reckons that making it proper square improves the sound and this is what the owner wants. So um, I'll, uh, I'll probably would like would want to test it but I, I I don't know if I'm so golden eared to distinguish between two transport. Well maybe I am maybe I'm not. I, I haven't got an opinion. 
to be honest, uh, on that as yet. Well, so uh, that's about all, folks. And, uh, well, till the next one. Bye-bye.